Okie dokie, level 6 of 10 of Nyctopen. Very small level, but four lights to push around. Holy moly, and non- oh, okay, so you're stuck against the left edge. So you are going there, but probably not yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or... Do we know that for certain? Probably, because I probably want to be able to go back around there. Although, then I'd just be pushing it down to this corner, unless that were free. I could see me wanting to have... Okay. Uh, these around here, like this? Why? Why do I think that's going to be useful? Especially now that they're stuck together, so it can't be useful exactly like that. You go up, ooh. You go down. You go up. This does seem useful, right? That's the same problem from before. Is that gonna go any differently? Or is maybe this is the last one that goes, but then how would this get there? Unless this goes there, but then where's this going? Against this edge? Nope. So... I, well, so I guess I'd like to be able to push this one up, or I guess it can go to the left as well at some point. Hmm. <clears throat> I want that one to come back down on the left. Okay, so maybe even further. In fact, what if it's this one that's going up there? It's not, I don't think. It's, it's kind of hard to say for certain. Although this is feeling better. Hmm. Could you be last? No. You could come down to the bottom. Potentially. Ooh. Ta-da! Level 7 of 10. Hmm. So. Push that there, push that there. <laughs> so there are four things. You're going on that one. You may or may not be going on that one. And you two may or may not be going on these two. Okay, so getting behind you, let's treat that as goal one. There we go. Go on, achieved. Uh, like you're you're going to be going back and forth for sure. That's why this space exists. I'm pretty sure the way that Marcos generates levels uh, includes a thing that says that everything must be used. Hence, why, like. I would also say this if this were hand design, but that doesn't always work out because not all people that hand design puzzles make sure that everything is used in the puzzle. But I would definitely use it as a suggestion. Um, but I think it's guaranteed, and that's a good thing. Like I like having certainty around the fact that the the, the designer of the puzzle, in this case, uh, an algorithm, um, you know, is is using the structure of the level to communicate something because the structure is used in some way. Okay, the, the, this might not be true. I think it's going to be true though. So at some point you are going there and I'm coming around this way and therefore something has to be here. So I think this is actually a good setup. <clears throat> is this a very good setup? Yes. Incredible, it worked. Level 8 out of 10. Okay, well, you are never going right. I could push you up, but then I'm never pushing you right. So you're going to that space. 100% certain. So this has to get out of the way. 
These three could go anywhere, I think. So let's figure out how to get behind you. One of them is ultimately going to get stuck against that wall. And there's this space here and this corridor coming around it. So that's probably like going down here like that. And then a different one is coming out. What, and you're being the top one? Possibly. What am I doing about this? Okay, what if you don't go all the way to the top, but I do that? You need to get lifted away from this at some point. It can't be done by having something here. So at some point, possibly now, I'm doing something like this, but then you two get stuck. But then you didn't need to be there, because I did that. Oh, I can't have two against the bottom. Oh yeah, okay, so pushing you against the bottom was a problem. When did that happen? When did that happen? Then. Hmm, so I think it's this one that has to go here. Oh, that's not true. What am I all about? That can go there, and I can come back around and push it to the right. Hmm. But it may also be the one that's going here. So don't push that against the bottom. How can I avoid pushing that against the bottom? I can't. Yeah, I can't. So that's the bottom one. Okay, so these two need to be brought out. And I need some way out of there, which I can get from that. That's interesting, talking about the fact that the algorithm might say, oh, every space needs to be used, but that space clearly isn't. So is there some part of it that's like, maybe there's some randomness to that, or maybe, because that was kind of interesting, I mean, in a simple way, but to think, oh, I can't take something that way because I can't step, there's like not a big enough space here to step around it. So it's kind of interesting that it was just like a little, a single space behind the light source that I wouldn't be able to get to, to push it to the right. Um, huh, well, that was strange. Um, OBS just closed, or I don't think it crashed because I didn't get a, like normally if like a, on Windows or something crashes, you get a thing saying something went wrong and do you want to report an error report or whatever, but I didn't get that. I don't know why it just closed, which is kind of concerning. <laughs> At least I can see it closing. But yeah, that was weird. Um, so I don't know if I missed anything there. Maybe, um, like maybe I like we just jumped a few seconds, but I don't think we missed much at least. Anyway, so yeah, I, what the good thing is that um, the video files that it writes out are, you know, like valid, it's like a streaming format. So it's like, a, it's valid at any point <laughs> during the recording. So if the program does crash, I still have a valid video. Um, I don't have to, like some video formats, only when you stop recording does it write some stuff into the file that is necessary in order for the rest of the file to work. Um, but not the file that I'm using. It's uh, in Crash and I've still got stuff. Okay, so now I know which ones are the top and bottom lights. So these two are going to be these two. So should I just focus on bringing them out? Like I can always go and get you. As long as this one's not in the way. Oh, that's interesting. Well, yeah, who cares? Because I can always just like... Put you there. Mm, not yet. Okay, I see what the issue is going to be. Is that I want to get this here, but when I lift it up, you're in the way. And if I push you... Okay, so what I think I want to do is push you to the right and lift you up, which is unintuitive, but at least make space for me to come around here and do stuff here. So, like this. Uh, how am I gonna... No, I can't ever do that, can I? Yeah, I can't ever do that. Uh, that's not true. I can by doing that. 
Okay, that's cool. Then if I put you there. Maybe no, you so you can't go to the right yet until this is back in position. So you, I can take you up. Hmm. Well, if you're. Uh, Well, I can do this. Am I done? I feel like I'm close to being done. I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. That was really satisfying. Nine out of 10. There we go, there's another one of those little spaces and another one down here, interesting. So, so you're going to be that one. So these three need to get to these three. Well, I'm never bringing anything around this or down this way. So they're passing to these three spaces just through here. I wonder if like, are, are there any people watching who don't really play Soko Band games much? And are like, because some of these ideas are relatively simple, but I could totally see it being like, what, how are you determining that? <laughs> um, that like nothing ever is going to be passing through here. Um, especially because maybe I'm wrong, but no, I can't be wrong, right? The reason is because if I put, if I do take something down here, it's against this bottom wall. And therefore, how do I get behind it to push it up ever again? Obviously, I might be pushing it to there, but I already know which one's going there. It's got to be this one because this one can never come away from this wall, right? Um, so, and similarly, sure, I could bring one down this way, like I guess to bring it to this area because I know what's going there, so it's not going there. But if I put it down here, again, it's against this wall, so it can't come to here. So these three have to be getting into these three positions entirely up here, which doesn't leave a lot of space. Um, so I'm probably going to be wanting, wanting to move this one like, up and down a bit while I manipulate these. And there really isn't a lot of space. So I could totally imagine there being need to have one here to help me get through that space. Hmm, that seems reasonable. Because I'm going to want to be able to get to the other side of these. Which, hmm, yeah, I'm going to have to do that like... Immediately. Hmm. How do I get through this is my question. By putting one here, by putting that there. And why didn't that work just a second ago? Oh, because then that happens. But then if I do that, I can't get around the top of there. Okay, so I need to fill in this space while these are here, but without pushing them against the bottom. Well, to fill in that space, that's be one surrounding it, which means here, here, here and here, but it obviously can't be there, so it has to be here. So it's this one that's filling this space. What's filling that space? You. Huh, okay, we have like an immediate contradiction here. How can I push this one down? I can't do anything with this until that one's moved. I can't push that that way or up. So it has to go that way. Well, this is intriguing. And at some point I have to put one here to light this space up if I'm ever gonna get below these to push them north. So, So, that has to go there at some point. But that also has to go down. Oh, so I bring this through, and I take it back with me. There's that interesting property of like, if you take a light with you <laughs> along the corridor, you're fine, which makes sense, given the theming. Okay, now I'm below. 
That was cool. Now, how to get everything into position. Because I'm going to have to get back to the bottom of this, but I could probably do that just by being down here. Although, at the same time, if let's say I like sort these two out up here, which I can do. And let's say I could get back down this way. I don't think I would be able to position those two. Like from this side. Right, they're gonna get stuck with each other. Um, and if I push you up one, I can't get to the top of that. So it might be the case that I, okay, I need to figure out where to leave these, I think. Like maybe you get left, like here. And you go up. Hmm. No, because I need to get back through. So if you're going all the way over, and I'm going back around this side. So my problem's gonna be, yeah, sorting out these two. I can bring this one up if I take that one down and come through this corridor, which I can do like this. But then I'm sort of stuck on this side, so what if I leave you there? That doesn't let me get through. Okay, I want you to be one further over. Okay, which you are. So we do that. We do this. Take you up. Yes, we push you up. You to the left, you to the right, you up. Ta-da! Very satisfying levels. I'm finding these later levels are somehow like there's a certain satisfaction to them that isn't wasn't necessarily present in all of the early levels. I wonder what that is. Why does that happen? <clears throat> okay, so we know who's going there. It's you. We know who's going there. It's you. Once you're in that position, whichever one it is, do I know? No, I don't know. It could be either of you. Could it? Yeah, it could. Because like I can easily take this one past you and then bring this one around. Okay, so one of these is going there, one of them is going there. This doesn't look particularly difficult. Am I going to regret saying that? So at some point I need to get behind this. That's interesting. Right, so I want to push one against this wall. And then move it. Ooh. Okay, so I want to move one against, leave one there. And then push one against this wall with this. Mm, I was thinking then come back around, but how? Oh, if I keep that with me, keep a light with me so that I can walk through the dark. You come over here. Okay. This is nice. This is like very, it also feels very um, thematic as well. Uh, so you've come with me. Do you want to come further? Yeah. You're going to go there. So that's going to allow me to come around here. I'm going to put you there so I can walk through this corridor. I think the, the ones that feel most satisfying have like a particular like problem to figure out. Um, so in this case, it's like, how do I get behind that? when I would need to have a light source. Well, yeah, basically, then it leads you through a bunch of deductions to, that I need a light source there, and I need one there. And I think that's what makes them satisfying. Okay. <clears throat> so what's left here? Like, maybe you don't go all the way on there yet, but at some point you're going there, but I need to push that thing to the right again. Maybe I take you back. I could believe that. I think you're probably staying here. You're going to be my light source again. Hmm, are you? Then how am I getting behind that? Ooh. Ooh, no. Obviously I can go there, but then I can't escape unless that's last. That can't be last, because this will have to be filled in. 
that I can't get there. So, how am I escaping? These two were already stuck, right? So I've only got this and that. And I had to put that against the wall in order to get behind this one. So I think I'm not in a stuck position. I just need some way of pushing this over and having a way out. Oh, that the other possibility is that, yes, okay, so we do this, we we'll take you back over, we actually push you to the left. Oh, and somehow I can escape. Yes, yeah, so you go there, take this back. Put you back here and push you further to the left. Now I can get you later. That's cool. I think that's the main trick done. Uh, what's the best way of doing this? Like that. Yep. Oh, or not. Hold on, you come up here. Yep. Uh, oh no. Right, that's, that's not enough to be able to push that. If I move this away, there's a hole there. So, okay, what if I haven't put you on yet? But if I haven't put you on, then when I take that, there's no way back. Okay. I want to be able to take that to the right. And I guess that's going to be the last one. It has to be, right? Hmm. Hold on, I'm not thinking properly right now. What's going on? So, I want to push that to the right to get onto there, except this space needs to be filled in. But when I push that over there, maybe I've skipped ahead. Do I need to use this again to go back that way? Why did I put you there in the first place? I, I guess I was thinking that I can do that last. I can always just walk through here, but that's not true because that space isn't lit up. Feels very relevant though that there is this corridor and I could put you there. Although this corridor existed for, it was part of the initial problem I had of bringing this one down. So maybe not, maybe putting you there was a bad idea. Like why didn't I just, in fact, yes. Okay, so I think what I want is come up here, do this. Uh, Hold on, hold on. If you're there and you're there, I can get behind there. Can I make a path? No. Ooh. Oh, there's almost a path there. If I push this over, that would be really interesting. If these were all connected like edge to edge. But sadly, it doesn't quite work out. Hmm. Oh, there's not like a weird position where I could place something here that would like light up that, no, only like in there. <laughs> How can I push you over here and escape or for that to be the last thing? Can that be the last thing? So there's something already here 
you'd already be done this. And no, that can't be the last thing. So I need to be able to push that that way and get out of there. So there has to be somewhere for me to escape here, right? So I'm not getting anything else into this space. So I'm somehow, hmm. Oh yes, okay, it is like that. Okay, I think I'm done now. The thing I had to realize is that I could move this up and down. I mean, I could have done the same with this as well. Yes, yes. Like I had to leave this here. That's interesting. I had to leave this one here so that I could have an escape route here. But there were two between us that I could use as like <clears throat> my my guiding light through the darkness. <clears throat> Very cool. Uh, let's put you there for now. But my guiding light is stuck against the wall. So you go, <clears throat> well, you go here, you go there, and we're done. That was actually really cool. I think at the very beginning, some of the earlier puzzles, I felt like maybe it was just me not being, um, you know, comfortable with the mechanics yet. Um, but they felt a little bit fiddly at the beginning. Um, and I sort of just had to kind of try stuff because it was hard to think about what, what space would exist. But those later levels where there seemed to be kind of more space, for some reason I could like treat the lights as more like tools to get some specific job done rather than like just little, <laughs> it's hard to describe, but like little, like earlier on the lights are my are getting in my way. Like not only in terms of they take up a space and on the grid so I can't walk through them, but they keep removing bits of light. Well, I guess they're not, but every time I move on, suddenly there's some shadow appearing and then I'm like, oh, I, I couldn't, I, it's like hard to visualize that that would have happened. Obviously it's not that hard to visualize a three by three square, but still like I'm thinking, oh, I'll just move that light there. And then suddenly I can't move the other direction. Whereas in those later puzzles, that became less of a thing, I think because of there just being more space and, um, and I could, the other thing was that I could more easily decide in the later levels, more easily decide which light had to go to which goal, which I found nice because then it, then, then the, the puzzle becomes, how do I actually move them to the right ones? Or like, if I know these two are stuck on these goals, then how do I move the other two? That's very satisfying. Um, yeah, really cool. Um, and surprisingly got very cool at the, uh, like towards the end. Nice. So next time we'll play something else. I don't know what, <laughs> as per usual, I have zero plans, um, but see you for whatever it is. Goodbye.